Science 4, Quarter 1, Week 6 Environmental Issues and Concerns Matatag Curriculum Bansang Makabata, Batang Makabansa With me, Teacher KMT Good day, kids! Today, we will learn about environmental issues and concerns. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify issues and concerns in the local community and how they could be addressed by science, such as the treatment of waste. What can you see? Are you bothered by what you see? Do you observe some environmental issues in your own community? How do you, especially those in authorities, address these issues? This week, let's learn more on the pressing environmental issues and concerns we observe in our place and how we could help in our own little way. Kids, help me arrange the scrambled words. What is your answer? Correct, it is deforestation. What is your answer? Good job, it is food waste. What is your answer? Correct, it is pollution. What is your answer? Good job, it is garbage. What is deforestation? It is the cutting down of trees or clearing of forested land. This is the clearing or thinning of forests by humans. What are the reasons why deforestation happens? First, agricultural expansion. Second, infrastructure expansion like road building. Third, High demand for timbers or logs. Fourth, fields for grazing animals. Fifth, housing purposes. What is pollution? It is the presence of substances in the environment that have harmful or poisonous effects on one's health. Pollution is the introduction of something to the surroundings that causes harm to the natural environment. What are the major forms of pollution that harm our health? Air pollution, water pollution, and land pollution. Air pollution, it is due to car exhaust, pollen, smoke from burning, and from factories stingy smell from garbage, and even dust. Water pollution. It is caused by dumping garbage in the bodies of water. Oil spill, sewage, and waste water, and agricultural and factory waste. Land pollution. It is caused by industrial waste, agricultural waste, improper waste disposal, accidental oil spills, and acid rains. What are the effects of pollution on man's health? The toxic chemicals, when absorbed by the body, can cause damage to major organs of the body. Other effects include 
cancer, respiratory illness, premature birth, and other health issues. What is food waste? Food waste is food intended for human consumption that is wasted and lost. It includes leftovers from restaurants and household as well as raw materials and produce loss in, in the farming stage, harvesting processes, transportation, and storage. 8% of the global greenhouse gas comes from food waste. What are the easy steps and ways to prevent food waste? First, take an inventory of your food stock at home before heading to the store. Second, plan at least a few meals for each week to avoid buying too much food. Third, learn to save and eat leftovers. Refrigerate them. Fourth, store food nicely inside the refrigerator so it won't rot easily. And of course, fifth, Compost leftovers instead of throwing them away. As a grade 4 pupil, what can you do to avoid food waste? Very good! You can get only the amount of food that you can consume. What garbage is scattered in the garden? There are crumpled papers, dried leaves, plastic bottles, food plastic wrappers, dried twigs, cans, and many more. How did you classify the trash that you pick from the garden? Classify the garbage as biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Biodegradable, it breaks down or decays naturally without any special scientific treatment and can therefore be thrown away without causing pollution. Non-biodegradable, it can be broken down by living organisms. Non-biodegradable is a term that describes a kind of material that cannot be broken down by living organisms. Non-biodegradable materials are not able to decay naturally and in a way that is not harmful to the environment. Kids, remember! By throwing your trash on its proper place, you already help in your own little way. For your takeaways, write two concepts that you've learned about the environmental issues discussed today. Reflection on learning. Reflect on the different issues discussed in this lesson. Choose one of the discussed issues and give ways in which you can help in addressing this problem. Let's try the activity. Read and analyze each statement given below. Write true if the statement is true. Otherwise, write false. Number 1. Pollution can affect the health of humans. Correct. It is true. Number 2. Pollution only affects air and water resources. Very good. It is false. Food waste is only in poor countries. Good job. It is false. Number four. Food waste contributes to climate change. Correct, it is 
through. Number five, deforestation can destroy the habitat of wildlife. Very good, it is true. Number six, high demand for logging materials contributes to the cutting down of trees in the forest. Good job, it is true. Number eight, Segregating garbage should only be followed in school and at home. Correct. It is false. Number 9. Self-discipline is needed to fully address the different environmental problems. Good job! It is true. Number 10. Caring for the environment is a responsibility only of adult members of society. Very good. It is false. For your additional activity, aside from the four environmental issues discussed in this lesson, Identify other environmental problems that you observe in your own locality. You may seek the help of your parents. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. What have we learned today? Today, we learn about what is deforestation? It is the cutting down of trees or clearing of forested land. This is the clearing or thinning of forests by humans. Number two, what is pollution? It is the presence of substances in the environment that have harmful or poisonous effects on one's health. Pollution is the introduction of something to the surroundings that causes harm to the natural environment. What is food waste? Food waste is food intended for human consumption that is wasted and lost. It includes leftovers from restaurants and households as well as raw materials and produced loss in the farming stage, harvesting processes, transportation, and storage. 8% of global greenhouse gas comes from food waste. What garbage is scattered in the garden? There are crumpled papers, dried leaves, plastic bottles, food plastic wrappers, dried wigs, cans, and many more. How did you classify the trash that you picked from the garden? Classify the garbage as biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Biodegradable, it breaks down or decays naturally without any special scientific treatment and can therefore be thrown away without causing pollution. Non-biodegradable, it can be broken down by living organisms Non-biodegradable is a term that describes a kind of material that cannot be broken down by living organisms. Non-biodegradable materials are not able to decay naturally and in a way that is not harmful to the environment. Kids, thank you for listening. I hope you have learned something. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.